their house, but I would venture to say that few people know really what's going on inside of them. And so, you know, there's some really cool physics that is involved in making a microwave do what it, what it does. So, you know, we take some electromagnetic waves and anything that has a charge, but, you know, specifically with our food, water is, has a charge and the microwave will kick it around. It'll make it wiggle. Uh, they bump into other mo water molecules. You get friction and you get heat. So that's how, really, in you know, a short description, how your microwave does what it does. Uh, a household item that uh, does some weird, weird things inside a microwave is a grape. So you have to cut them a specific way. Take a nice sharp knife, and you cut them most of the way down the center, but you leave some of the skin connected. You kind of take your thumbs and split them. So we have regular grapes that we cut in half. Uh, we leave the skin attached a little bit and uh, we'll throw them in a microwave and see what happens. Let them go. And they arc. So what's inside the grape is conducting electricity. The charge jumps from one half of the grape to the other. Just like a battery has a, plus and a positive and a negative end, you create that with the, each half of the grape. We just have a, a beaker full of water here, and we stick the light bulb in it. And the microwave generates current, and the current goes through the light bulb and lights it. So, put it in the middle of the microwave, put it on for 10 seconds. It lights up exactly like it would in a lamp. One of the neat things you can do with your microwave is take a bar of soap, ivory soap, for reasons unknown to us why it has to be ivory soap. But you cut about a third of the bar carefully so it doesn't break. Unwrap it. This one takes a little bit longer. Um, we think that it has to heat up a little bit. The water, uh, water starts moving around in there. It starts to expand. Okay, there you go. You can start to see it shoot out from the sides. So soap has some uh, really strange ingredients, a lot, of, a lot of chemicals inside soap. So we're not exactly sure why it makes the structure that it does, but it definitely expands because of the water content. bar of soap microwave. We have a paper clip that's going through this one eraser with some aluminum foil on the end of it, which will conduct electricity. And then what we're going to do is use that to light this match. So what do you need to light a match? Well, um, you need a spark for one thing. As you can see, it looked the map.